everyone. Welcome to another edition of Growth and Balance. We do growth and balance for one reason and one reason alone, to create value for the agents we know. For today's edition of Growth and Balance, we're gonna talk about what makes for a great sales meeting. Why this is important is because whether you are a brokerage or company, whether you are a team, having regular sales meetings in some way, shape or form and keeping that communication moving every week, every couple weeks, every month is really what allows your team to have a healthy culture, collaboration, and just feel confident in the communication between one another. So today, I'm gonna to talk about a few different things that I think will really help you if you are already doing sales meetings and want to maybe improve them or tweak them, or if you've always thought about doing sales meetings for your team or your brokerage, and you're just looking to kind of get started, here are some things to consider. Number one, the icebreaker. So this one's pretty simple. Most people know what I'm talking about. Having a good icebreaker at the beginning of your sales meeting keeps people loose. You know, when you do that, it's, it's making it less serious than it is. I mean, sometimes when we jump in the sales meetings, everyone's, again, on their best behavior. It's very professional. Okay, we're going to talk about business. But if you started off with, let's say, like a joke or you want to tell an anecdote or, for example, in our sales meetings, one thing I like to go over is I say, tell me one good thing that has happened to you since the last sales meeting. And that can be personally or it could be professionally. So that's an idea for an icebreaker. Number two, recognition and excitement for your team. So when we're talking about recognition and excitement, we want to talk about the things that get our team members pumped. And usually that's, you know, how their year's going or what they're working on. So a great example would be, okay, if we're halfway through the year, how's everyone doing on their goals? How's everyone doing on their volume? If you have a cap system, how far along are you on your cap? Have you already capped out? Are you close? Are you going to do it before the end of the year? So those are great ways to deliver recognition to your team and create excitement. Also, maybe talking about new listings, new buyer clients that need properties. So things like that where people feel like they can get involved, they can talk about their, their personal book of business, that allows everyone to kind of speak up and feel more comfortable. Number three, metrics. So metrics can be talked about in a few different ways. With the housing market shifting right now, one great way to talk about metrics is talk about where are the stats at? Are days on market up or down? Are prices up or down? Is inventory up or down? Pending sales you know, active listings. Just think about it that way. Updating people on the market and letting them know what's going on is a great way to get the conversation going because someone may agree, someone may disagree, or someone might just have a lot to add on the subject, you know, even if it's black and white. So try and think of metrics as a way to get the conversation going and educate your team on what is happening in the current real estate economy. Number four, and this one is my favorite, training. In my opinion, every good sales meeting should have a training element to it. At Copper Hill Sales Meetings, we do what's called a quick tip. Every sales meeting, usually about 20 to 30 minutes, someone, usually myself, could be a team member, teaches on something that is going to help people grow their book of business, make it more efficient, talk about different marketing ideas, talk about their own opinion of the market. Maybe it's open house tips, maybe it's listing tips, maybe it's buyer tips, maybe it's just advertising tips or ideas. Whatever it is, having a training opportunity at your sales meeting is going to allow all of your members to walk away with something of value, which is also one of the reasons why people want to attend sales meetings regularly. They want to constantly up their game, they want to just ratchet it up one thing at a time through your quick tips and your training that allow them to get value, learn something new, and apply it to their own book of business. 
That's all I have for today. Take care. Mm -hmm.